So here's your cuddle interface. We're going to start by choosing a shape. And there are so many great shapes to pick from. Because it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to pick a heart. And you drag it onto the canvas. Now in this case, I would like it to be a little bit bigger. So I click on it, get the handles, and use the transform box to drag it to make it bigger. And see this point right here that says origin? This will help you move it so that the middle of it is like smack in the middle of your coordinate rig at x equals zero and y equals zero right now. So I think I'm going to make it just a tiny bit bigger. And again, I want to center it back here. And there you go. Now I'd like to put some text around it. So how Cuddle works is on the right-hand side here, you have almost like the code and script of your um, drawing that you're making. And notice I dragged out the heart shape here. I'm going to click on that shape, and I could also just click on it in the canvas. And then I'm going to go to Modify, and there are all kinds of modifiers here, which are a little tricky to understand at first, but once you start to play with them, you'll get it. So I'm going to go pick the Text Along Path modifier, and when I click on that, my shape disappeared, but look over here, next to the heart, it says text along path. So it added that feature to the heart. It assumed that you don't want the heart. You just want the text to be along the shape of a heart. So the text that they have is text along path. It opens up a bunch of parameters. But when you hover over it, you can still see that the heart shape is still a heart shape. And but this text along path is not what you want. So you're going to go around to the parameters and start playing with them. The first thing is change the text. In this tutorial, I'm going to change the text to the name of someone that I love. And Molly's name appears along the top of the heart shape. It doesn't look much like a heart shape because it's a short name but I really would like it inside and I don't want it upside down or flipped around. So let's look at a couple different things and options here. The first one is the flip tool and, and the checkbox is all the way down here. Now her name is flipped inside the heart shape. Let's look at some of the other parameters. One is obviously that you can change the font. I'm going to cut this out, so I'm going to pick a stencil font. And I discovered a really fun font that I want to try called Cody Star. It makes little dots everywhere. I thought that was, would be fun. So I have the name. I've got the font. I could change the size of the font. Now you can click right in here and pick a size. But a fun thing that um, Cuddle does is allows you, let me get back to the click on text along path up here to get back the parameters, to just move the arrow back and forth like this to play around with different sizes, like a scale. So now when you choose the align button, you can have start, center, or end. Let's see what happens when we choose the different options. Start, in this case, move that so it started at the bottom here. Let's pick end. So in this case, it ended at the bottom here. And let's change the line back to center. And it put it at the center of our shape. I'm going to go back and choose end. In this case I have Molly's name and it ends at the point of my shape but I want it inside. So to put it inside we're going to go down and play around with some of the parameters. Let's come back over here 
and I instead of having it in the middle of the line, the heart shaped line, let me see what would happen if I put it on the baseline. Ah, see, notice how it's right along the base of the heart shape line, but it's too close. So now I'm going to play with vertical offset. Let me offset it quite a bit. It's moving away from the line, but I think it needs a lot more offset. Now that might be a little bit better, but I think the name is too big for the design I have in mind. So I'm going to go back up and change the size. And that's starting to look a lot better. Now the Y is too close to the end for the design I have in mind. So a quick way to do that would be to add a space. Now I added a space after her name. I think I'm going to add one more space. That's looking much more like what I have in mind. Again, if you want to change the parameters, click on text along path in the right navigational bar and you'll get the parameters back and keep playing around with the parameters that are here. Let me show you what the flip does. In this case, it flipped it all the way to the outside. So that's always a fun thing to try and see where you land. Letter spacing, vertical offset, vertical align, which way you align it, start, center, and end. And of course, play with the fonts and the size or your text along path parameter in Cuddle.